Oh my gosh, what is that? What are you wearing? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Caitlin, and in today's video, I just wanted to share my favorite luxury purchases with you guys. These are purchases that I think are worth the money. Well, for me at least, I think that they're worth it. So, if you guys would like to see what they are, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that we have is from Cartier, and this is the Love Ring. It comes in a box, and then there's another box, and here is the Love Ring. It just comes in this box and I normally don't keep it in here because I wear it every day. But this ring comes in yellow gold, rose gold, and white gold. I got it in yellow gold because I think it looks better on my skin. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there are scratches on this ring. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the scratches. It's gold. It's going to get scratched. It is what it is. You can polish it if you want, but I wouldn't recommend doing that too much because it takes off a layer of the gold. And if I paid for the gold, I want to keep the gold. So I'm not trying to do that too often, maybe like every two Two to three years other than that I just clean it with like soap and water and I think that's good enough but I don't do anything like crazy with it like I don't shower with it I don't go to bed with it I don't do the dishes I don't try to like bang it up too much but it is what it is I love it I think it's a good investment and it's one of my favorite jewelry pieces right now so if you were considering getting it then just know that it will scratch but I honestly really love it. And the next item that we have are these Ferragamo black flats. I think they're called Sarno's or something like that. But they are just a classic black flat and I can really appreciate the gold hardware on it. It says Ferragamo on it. It's very cute, very classy. I also like how it has this kind of heel a little bit so it's not super flat, super uncomfortable. And it has a little floral design on it that's super cute but they're really comfortable shoes like the sole of the shoe is just really like cushiony and soft and this gives you nice support it's not annoying but i haven't fully broken them in yet so like this back part has been um digging into my skin but like that's normal so whatever but i think these are just a nice classic shoe to have there it's just a timeless piece so it's a good investment to just have nice black flats. And the next item that we have are these Tom Ford, I think they're called Amara sunglasses. And I love how big these are because I can just throw them on if I'm looking a hot mess and no one can tell that I'm a hot mess underneath these sunglasses. And they give me great sun protection. I don't find myself squinting in these all the time. And they also have this nice like burgundy gradient lens. And these sunglasses are just my favorite. I love how oversized they are, like I said. They go with any outfit. Also, these sunglasses are really good with scratches. I just throw these in my bag and they're a little scratched, but when you put them on, they don't look like they're scratched. So that's another good thing, but if you're in the market for sunglasses, I would recommend trying these out because it's just such low maintenance sunglasses with the scratches. They look nice. They block out the sun. They block out the haters. We've got it all. <laughs> and for our next item, we have these Valentino slides, and I know what you guys are thinking. Why would you spend that much money on some rubber? But honestly, these are one of my favorite slides that I've owned. They're super comfortable. In the beginning, this part here would like dig into my skin and like make me bleed and cut me. But I've broken them in and they're nice to wear now. And I think these shoes are really nice for summertime when you're just walking around, going to the pool, maybe you want to look a little extra. These are perfect. They're really comfortable. You can walk around in them for a really long time. I've walked around in these for like eight hours. The only downside is that it has scratched right here and right here. But once again, I'm okay with the scratches. I figured that it was going to be scratched. One time when I was in the airport, it had just gotten way scratched up. And probably because I walk like this or something and it gets rubbed together. But whatever, they're just shoes, they're rubber. I don't care that they're um, scratched. Also, like I said, makes it look like I wear them. Nothing is going to stay in pristine condition with me because I'm not the one to sit here and baby my shoes. So <laughs> it's okay. So if you're looking for new designer slides, I would check these out because in my opinion, I think that they're better than the Givenchy slides. Personally, I wanted the Givenchy slides before I got these ones, but then I saw these ones and I was like, no, have to have these ones. These ones are just, I think they're cuter. They don't scream like Givenchy Paris. It's just like Valentino, nice and just, you know, simple and plain and cute. So 
love these ones. The next item that we have, if you've watched my videos before, then you already know that this is the bag that I have, but this is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB, and this is honestly one of the best purchases that I've ever made. This is one of my favorite purses. I love the gold hardware on it. I have taken off most of the things that it comes with. This bag is so versatile. You can make this bag casual. You can dress this bag up. You can wear it in the daytime. You can take these straps off, and you can just wear it like this in the nighttime and this bag is super low maintenance I've gone out in the rain like the pouring rain in this bag and I was just like whatever no water spots no nothing like it's just I literally just clean it with a baby wipe like a few times a year and that's it it doesn't really get scratched you can just throw this bag around it's no problem also I love how it has these four little feet so it makes it even easier for setting it down. It doesn't get scratched. I also love how small this bag is. I think it looks really nice on me. It doesn't like overpower my body or anything. And it's just a cute little convenient bag to have. Obviously you can't put too many things in it because it will get heavy. I've like overstuffed this bag and it gets pretty heavy, but you can fit a lot of things in here. So this is a really good purchase. I bought the um, Louis Vuitton Kensington and I like this so much better. So if you're looking for like a smaller bag, I would recommend this one just because you can do so many things with it. Like I said, you can make it casual or dressy. And another cool feature about this bag is that you can lock it. It comes with this little lock and the keys are in here so you can lock it. I've locked it when I was in Paris before when I was like in like a really touristy place with like lots of theft and stuff and I didn't want to babysit my bag. You can just lock it and not worry about it. So that's another plus. It is one of my favorite purchases that I've ever made probably like ever because this bag just gets so much use and it's just my absolute favorite purse that I've ever owned in my lifetime. Sorry guys. <laughs> and the last item that we have is the Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. I'm pretty sure it is unisex, but it smells so, so, so good. This um, smells like bergamot and mandarin. It just smells so fresh and so clean. It literally smells like a fresh afternoon swim. <laughs> I know, weird, but oh my gosh, it smells delightful. I always get compliments on this all the time no matter where i go people are always like oh my gosh what is that what are you wearing and then no one ever guesses that it's louis vuitton afternoon swim and it just comes in this little tube and it has this nice little magnetic cap and on the cap it says lv and then this is just what the bottle looks like and i think it's worth the money because it was 250 for this whole thing and this is 3.4 ounces and i've only used a little bit and it's been months so I know that this is going to last me a long time and when I do run out, I'm definitely going to repurchase this. So if you guys haven't tried it, go into the Louis Vuitton store, they have samples, smell it and you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, blown away. But anyways, that comes to the end of my video. I was thinking about doing like a part two of luxury items that I don't think are worth the price. So if you guys want to see that, then give this video a like down below. Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys like this video, then give this video a thumbs up as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free. You just click it down below. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.